In today's video, we'll discuss the Hollywood productions that were filmed in the Philippines. I'll just list the titles of the films and provide a brief explanation. I won't discuss each movie in great detail. The Philippines is a beautiful country in Southeast Asia that has long been a favorite location for Hollywood films. Its stunning scenery, diverse landscapes, and exotic culture make it a perfect backdrop for a wide variety of movie genres. Over the years, American filmmakers have taken advantage of the Philippines' natural beauty, using it to create some of the most iconic and memorable movies in history. In this video, we will take a closer look at some of the most famous American movies filmed in the Philippines. Apocalypse Now, 1979 Apocalypse Now is one of the most iconic movies ever made, and it was mostly filmed in the Philippines. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, the film is a harrowing depiction of the Vietnam War, with the Philippines serving as a stand-in for Vietnam. The lush jungle landscapes and the muddy river scenes were shot in different locations in the Philippines, including the Baler, Aurora Province, and the Pagsanhan Falls. The film's portrayal of the horrors of war won its critical acclaim and cemented its status as a classic. Platoon, 1986 Another Vietnam War film that was partially filmed in the Philippines is the movie Platoon. The Oliver Stone directed movie tells the tale of a young soldier who struggles with his fellow soldiers competing morality. The movie received numerous honors for its realistic depiction of war, including the Academy Award for Best Picture. Many of the jungle scenes were shot in the Philippines, including scenes at the Baler and Zambales provinces. The Born Legacy 2012 The Born Legacy is a spy thriller and the fourth installment in the Born Films series. Part of the Tony Gilroy directed film was shot in Manila, the country's capital. The film's pivotal chase scene is set in the streets of Manila and features a high-speed chase between motorbikes and cars that weave in and out of traffic. One of the most thrilling and memorable scenes in the movie, the scene perfectly captures the craziness and energy of the city. The Killing Fields, 1984 A journalist and his translator are the subjects of a historical drama the Killing Fields, which takes place in Cambodia under the rule of the Khmer Rouge. Despite the fact that the movie is set in Cambodia, the majority of it, it was actually shot in the Philippines, including the events at the University of Santo Tomas in Manila and the Manila International Airport. The film's depiction of the atrocities committed by the Khmer Rouge regime earned its praise from critics and several honors, including three American Academy Awards. The Big Bird Cage, 1972 The entire cult classic exploitation movie, The Big Bird Cage, was filmed in the Philippines. The film, which was directed by Jack Hill, is set in a women's prison where the inmates endure abuse and mistreatment. The film's explicit sexuality and graphic violence caused controversy when it first came out, but it has since gained cult status among fans of the genre. With its tropical setting and far-flung lo locales, the movie is a prime example of the exploitation movies that were common in the 1970s. Born on the 4th of July, made in 1989, a young Tom Cruise arrived in the Philippines on July 4th to begin the filming of the movie. Instead of Mexico and Vietnam, Vegan served as the primary location for the action scenes in the movie. 
Additionally, Pauay and Lawag were used to film a few scenes. An Officer and a Gentleman, 1982. Scenes from the Philippines were filmed for the lead character's backstory in this well-liked romantic drama starring Richard Gere. Following the passing of his mother, he moves in with his father, a Navy commander stationed in the Philippines. He travels to Olongapo, where the former U.S. naval base Subic Bay was located, to visit his father. The year of living dangerously, made in 1982. The next movie is a romantic drama starring Mel Gibson and Sigourney Weaver. The movie's production team ultimately chose to film in the Philippines despite the fact that the story takes place in Jakarta, Indonesia, as the request to do so were turned down. This is, this is more obvious in some of the non-English speaking scenes. The character's use of Tagalog, a Filipino language, makes it clear to the accustomed listener that they are not conversing in Indonesian. The Boys in Company C, made in 1978. Finally, The Boys in Company C was filmed primarily, if not entirely, in the Philippines. The movie follows the training and deployment in Vietnam of five fresh-faced young U.S. Marine Corps recruits. Of course, they weren't actually in Vietnam, as you probably already guys guessed based on every other movie mentioned. In conclusion, the Philippines has a long history of being a popular location for American movies. Its diverse landscape, low cost of living, and large English-speaking population make it an attractive location for filmmakers, and its modern infrastructure makes it a suitable location. Over the years, many notable American movies have been shot in the country and this trend is likely to continue in the future as more and more filmmakers discover the benefits of shooting in the Philippines. Hopefully you liked today's video. Support this channel by subscribing so that we can keep producing content about the Philippines and Filipinos. Please support this channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please click the notification bell if you would like to be informed when our next video is released. Thank you and see you all in our next video.